Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, I took a little walk after that last episode. Wrong button. I thought I would head up this path, see if I could get in the front way into the Calavela Knight's workshop. And on the way there, I discovered this sign. I was going to start over by the door, but I discovered this sign. Calavela Knight's MC Workshop. That does explain a few things. The Calavela Knights, or Calavala, I don't know how you say that, are a, a biker gang, a motorcycle club. That would explain why uh, a Yako had that written on the back of his leather vest. Shout out to Yornik, who says, Stop feeding our goats coffee, huh? Note to self, find some goats, give them coffee. Because some may call it a warning, but I call it a challenge. And I like that. <laughs> what was it? Well. I suppose I should head in there, then. Oh, but before I do that, shout out to Elthwar, who says, I wonder if Alice's art project is something the, take the Dark Presence is using to upgrade the Taken's abilities and extend their range. After all, she is another creative mind, and she's making art of the Dark Place and trying to show how scary they can be, with no editing required on the Dark Presence's side. I don't know what to make of that. I thought, it, I mean, I was under the impression it was just, you know, in the vicinity of uh, Cauldron Lake. Uh, Deerfest is just around the corner. The Kalevala Knights are here to help you with all your float-making needs. Free consultations. At least they're a nice biker game. I wasn't expecting to get this far. God damn it. Hmm. I guess this is how you get here. They did say you couldn't open the door from that side. What does that say? Oh, just notice this area is under video surveillance. Sure, one of those signs. Well, that's a float. So here's the question, Burning Dog fans. Which of those four figures is not made of cardboard, but is going to jump up and attack me as I get close enough to notice? Or maybe I'm overthinking it. They don't just leave their bikes at the headquarters, do they? Oh, it's blueprints for a float that looks like a little log cabin. Interesting. Not that one, though. All right, you fuckers. Well, I guess all four of these guys are, uh... What are we looking at? Quotary swung the knife, stabbing again and again. Oh, I see, it's not finished. There's no knife in the guy's hand, and the guy's face is literally just the word mask. And there's a... Oh, there's a dude with a deer mask. Uh, there's a, a cardboard cutout of a man, and the cardboard cutout has one of the deer masks tied to its face. Like, the real deer masks. Oh... Quoten butchered his victim. Huotari butchered his victims with his puko knife. I hate that. Why do they have signs on it? You're not going to be letting the kids run around on the floats. You're just going to be driving by. Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. These sound like quotes from manuscripts. So I guess this is the brother throwing a dead body into the well... Oh, I see. That, that tape recorder is for the haunting laughter, isn't it? Uh, and here's, I guess, uh, the insane brother going to stab a guy with a knife he doesn't yet have. Surprised it hasn't told me to find the knife and put it here yet, but maybe that's a different area. Because, you know, there was one knife left at the gift shop that feels very conspicuous. I'll just open this from this side. Perfect. Way back up if I fall. What a weird... 
weird motorcycle club. There's just a boat back here. On risers. Fuck me, I was hearing the fabric from this flag thing that just says fun. I thought I was hearing the rustling of someone's clothes as he ran up behind me. Oop! I know what that symbol means. There's another lunchbox. Oh yeah, it's right here. I don't even have to follow it into the woods or anything. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. And on one side, there's a drawing of a unicorn. And on the other side, there's a drawing of a unicorn looking sad with a rain cloud above his head. Ooh, six manuscript fragments. That's a lot for one lunchbox. Oh, yes, I actually loaded the game uh, between episodes, so it stopped doing that thing, or when I drop out, it shows me that one I already put in the wall. Uh, no, no, it's... the story? No, 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 it's Alex Casey Lunchboxes. Lunchbox found behind the motorcycle club in Watery. Going all the way over here. Is that not the Watery area? No, I, my mistake. Funny sworn I had more than one over here. The note inside references the story again. Do they think I'm the protagonist? Now, my instinct would be to say no, because they would think one of them is the protagonist, and they didn't leave these for you. But... No, I guess it's the cult stashes I'm thinking of that were explicitly not meant for anyone outside of the cult. Is Cynthia Weaver still alive? Maybe she left those. Although she was a lot darker last time. Pun intended. You know, having gone fucking crazy. How did you get a buoy out here? Bowie, however you say that. Oh no. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. I wonder if it sounds less crappy on the radio in here, as opposed to the radio in that... What? 
did that again? They're all marked as unread. Welcome back, and boy, do we have that's a bit some cleaner. breaking news that's sure to knock your socks off. Davis family beef jerky. Okay, yes, yes. Not going to follow it up with a song. Although I do like the idea that Tapio had been on the phone this entire time, because even in-universe, it's been two days. Yeah, there was the night that we went out into the woods hunting for Nightingale. And then... Or is this the day after that? Well, still, it's been at least a day. Let me see if I can get inside this barn. If this is a story moment, I doubt it. What the fuck was that? There wasn't even an A prompt, I just heard that horrible noise. Okay, getting the shotgun out, make myself feel better. And we're walking away. Walking the fuck away, and all is going to be fine. I need bolt cutters. Fine, screwdriver doesn't work here. For God's sake. Oh, I thought that was bolt cutters right there. No, it's just the cult symbol. It's so much better. Yes, great. Great. Water sounds on the dry part of the ground. That's why I thought someone was ahead of me. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Why did you put it on both sides of the sign? That side faces the fucking wall. Okay, it's not a wall, it's a cliff face, but whatever. This is the right direction, guys. Yes, I'll just keep going. Well, the ambience has stopped, so... Actually, I'm just going to quick save in here. Wait, let me just confirm something. Yep, I got all three of these mare setter things. No, I am missing one. That one. Marisetter is not afraid of the rough questions. Did I do that after saving? Huh. Well, now there's a fourth one. Looks like there's either six or nine in total, depending on whether they do a middle row or not. Also, nice. Trailer park key. I guess the trailer keys, all the trailer keys open the outer door? I don't know. It's in the rain. Oh fuck, it's Torrin Odin. Must not drink the water. Or take a bath. Ever again. Moonshine. Oh. Only drink the moonshine, brother. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Don't look like cultists. Even more decrepit, but still, uh... <laughs> it's not helping. Still rocking. Uh, I don't feel like myself. No! I don't know how to fight it! Uh, we're too old now! Excuse uh. me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Uh, sweetie pie, right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. 
make the story. <laughs> oh boy. Got the hell of it. <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Tar. Scratching head. He is your grandfather. Nice. Oh shit. And I am the old <laughs> I knew it. Just as crazy as everyone else. I suspected as soon as they announced Just this character's name. It. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. New card, though. Uh, fact versus fiction. That's a new one. Oh, no, it isn't. I see. Odin claims he is my granduncle and that Tor is my grandfather. Uh, which parts are false? Which of any are real? Logan's part in the story. My life and watery. This one. No. No? Okay. Then... That one. Which parts are real? So the story has given me wacky relatives now? Still, there's something off about these guys. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father! <laughs> I mean, honestly, they're doing pretty good if they're in their 90s, given that they were hard rockers since the 80s. Uh, they drank and made moonshine that included water from Cauldron Lake, which, when ingested, gives you dreams that are prophetic visions. Or they make those events come true, it's really unclear. So they write rock songs that are either prophecies of things that are going to happen, or extremely accurate, or surprisingly accurate depictions of things that uh, have happened. You know, there's a possibility that their song, The Poet and the Muse, is what created Thomas Zane, who created uh, Alan Wake, who might have created the Anderson Brothers. So this whole ne meta thing gets really confusing after a while. Oh, I can't talk to them anymore. I just assumed there'd be more questions or something. Weird that they instantly recognized her if they'd never met her before. Even in this universe. Where the hell am I going, anyway? Reeks of booze. There's a lot of empties in here. Oh god, there's a framed picture of Logan on the bed. I think this is the trailer. Oh boy. Criminal Justice. A Critical Look at a Broken System by R. Moreau. Uh, Murder at the Manor House, an Architectural Mystery by Margaret Formo. A pun book from Elmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. The Plot Chickens by Reese Watts. Excellent puns for the comedy hen in your life. Because I know you love a good a good pun, Ilmo. Did I leave the bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. 
We could really use that insightful mind of yours, so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. I wonder if it's important that she's named after a bone segment. Something About the Water is the name of that book there, but I can't look at that one. FBI mug. So I... so she... <sighs> Okay, so Sokka joined the FBI, and then their daughter drowned, and she left the FBI and Bright Falls in this story. So it's unclear why she would be back, and no one's commenting on the fact that she's investigating a crime again. Oh, a lot of... Right, yes, I did not consider the thought that I had before I discovered whose trailer this was. Yeah, I went became an alcoholic. Great. Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Saga Anderson, 6 Watery Lighthouse, Trailer Park Way, Unit Number 2, Watery, Washington, 98440. From the Washington Power Company. Oh, look, a bottle of Anderson Moonshine. Don't drink that. Make check Washington Power make check payable to Washington Power Company P.O. Box four two two zero Olympia Washington nine eight five zero six account number two seven zero dash nine nine one dash K six five dash zero one amount due on or before February twenty second twenty eighteen forty eight dollars and two cents. Guess it gives a time frame and a birthday card. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday, so be sure to give yourself some special tweetment. I love you, Logan, Grandma F. And a very, very, very moldy slice of pizza. This is creepy as shit. Off-brand macaroni and cheese and the colors of the craft dinner box. Hang on! Wait a minute, don't they not sell that... Oh, no, 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 that's right, they do sell that in America. They just call it Kraft Macaroni and Cheese and not Kraft Dinner. It's kind of a thing in Canada. It's like an institution. Okay, nothing exciting in the bathroom again. Oh, no, the child's room. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Night Springs, too new personal. season coming soon. Old Gods of Asgard, and it's signed by them. I guess they're her great-grandparents. Wait, why would it be signed? To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great-granddad and great-granduncle. Maybe they mailed it to her. Night Springs, new season coming soon. No, no, she knew them. There's a straight-up children's drawing of Tor and Odin over there, and Odin's even holding up his hammer and getting it struck by lightning. Uh, also, what appears to be... Well, that's a grown-up and a child playing a video game, but the giant shape of that thing and the one-eyed and the one big eye, that's... Oh, what was it called? The Former! The, uh, the ex-member of the board from Control. So that's, uh, that's Saga and, well, it's not a two-player game, but I guess the idea is that, you know, they, oh, they're playing through, uh, Control and looking at the lore or something. I don't know. It's a video game, is the point. They played video games together, and this appears to be... I don't know what that is. It's a deer, there's a goddamn coffee thermos on the left, and... The Espresso Express drawn above that. I also really like on that particular one how she uh, started writing Logan and ran out of room so the N is much smaller and below the A. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. I hate that photo. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. 
I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Oh, I was sequence breaking. Local girl drowns tragedy and watery. I said that backwards, but whatever. No. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. The phone in this room rings. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. No. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. Now. That he can stop this with a clicker. She walks outside and gets attacked. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... A cop in a deer mask, and he is definitely taken. Mulligan? What the fuck? Hey! Stay where you are! The call to the tree. Mulligan he's is a walking cultist? off. What the fuck is going on here? We're going to have to wait until the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake to find that out. Oh boy. I'm Burning Dogface, and uh, I'll see you as we pursue what's left of, De of Deputy Mulligan into the woods and see if that's a good idea. Oh, wish me luck, because I might just need it. Till then, stay in the light.